Hello everyone, it's Cassie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Arteza sent me the 120 color pencils. These are the expert color pencils. I previously have done a review on the 72 color pencils, the expert color pencils. This one obviously has uh, 48 colors more, so I'm excited to take a look at which colors would be different. As you all know, if you watched that other video, I really loved um, these pencils, and I actually, I actually have them inside of a case um, because I like to get at them pretty readily. So, and Arteza has cases for the um, for your pencils. Let me grab one out. So they have a case, and I reviewed this, and I thought it was fantastic. So. Um, I won't go into detail too much about it, but I will say that with a giant tin like this, uh, my preference would to ha be to have them in a case like this. There's nothing wrong with the, the metal canister that it comes in. It's actually pretty sturdy. Um, and it has all the colors on the back, and it's, you know, it's a nice tin. Uh, the only thing I like is to be able to have my colors out and available and, you know, just easily accessible. And these come like this. So uh, they're easy to get out. It's just, I sometimes have to, when I'm coloring, I'm out on the couch. And um, so I like to be able to, to get to the pencils. And there are one, two... Three. Uh, see, and then they get a little harder to get out. Oh, geez, as you're pulling them out. But the tin is is sufficient. It's absolutely sufficient. So, whoops. But you can see why, if you're somebody who colors on, the, you know, while you're sitting on the couch, like myself, how this might be a little bit of an issue. So there are five trays of colored pencils. So there's a ton of colored pencils in here and they're all absolutely gorgeous. Um, I love their pencils uh, and I'll talk more about them. I'll use them in some things and you know obviously I am a card maker so I'm looking at these from a card maker's perspective. Uh, not like a professional artist by any means but there are lots of uses for them as a card maker. And so I'm going to talk a little bit about those, but um, so here they are in the tin. I'm going to go play around with them. You know, I like to swatch and I'll tell you the reason I do like to swatch. I know that some people will be like, that's redundant. The color of the pencil is what it's going to look like. And you're not wrong. You're absolutely right. Um, but I like to have swatches because I like to have it all right in front of my face rather than, you know, having to look at the tin, which the tin's probably going to look a little bit different than what the actual color is. So I like to have it swatched out so that I can um, quickly go to it. Not only that, but I like to have a full strength and I like to have it kind of faded out. So that's why I do swatches. Now, I know not everybody's into that. Um, I find swatching kind of relaxing, so that's why I do it. Um, so I'm going to go do that. And then I'll tell you which colors like you're getting, the 48 colors extra that you're getting to see if, I mean, especially if you already have these, if you think that maybe, you know what, I want to upgrade, I want more colors, then maybe, maybe this will be for you. I am definitely a full set syndrome kind of gal. So the idea of having um, all the colors appeals to somebody like me. So I will be back very shortly. All right, I said I would be back, and here I am. I went ahead and swatched out all 120 colors, and as I said before, I like to swatch mine out, and I like a full strength, and then, you know, what it looks like as it's fading down. And I show this in all of my um, swatching videos, but if you haven't seen them before, then you're not gonna know. But I like to use this Waffle Flower set. This is called the Color Swatches set. It has several different options for swatching out, but I love this for swatching. And uh, you can also get matching dies to go with it so you can cut those out and even keep them together if that is something that you're interested in. But that's what I like to do. And then I've just written the colors up above. And then down here is where I have the 48 colors that you get in addition. So if you already have the set of 72, um, you'll have, you know, 72 of these colors, but these are the ones that you're missing. 
And if you went ahead and bought the 120, then obviously you're going to get all of them, all the colors from the 72 and then these extra ones. So I suppose it's one of those things you'd have to kind of look at those and be like, well, is the, are those colors that I would want to use? Uh, and I'll be honest with you, in some of my coloring, because I've been playing around with them a little bit, I have been grabbing for these colors a lot. So uh, I love that there's also some metallics. So there's one, two, three, four, five metallic colors. And it's a little bit hard to see, but if you look at them in the light, they have a tiny bit of metallic to them. It's gonna be hard to tell. Um, but yeah, I love that. I think that's really pretty. Uh, it's just got a little bit of sparkle to it, which is really cool. And um, and then, I, like I said, I've been grabbing for a lot of these colors, so I am happy that I have the 120 set. I think it's a great investment. So if you are one of those that you're like, yeah, okay, and, and the price is right. I mean, I'm telling you, as you well know, if you've bought Arteza before, you know that their prices are typically very competitive and they're good. So, um, yeah, anyway. But yes, I will have those linked down below, all the things that I've used. I also wanted to show you that, because um, I talked about it before, um, Arteza does make a carrying case. I have this one for my watercolor pencils, so it's already being used, but uh, I do have another case. And so I've gone ahead and put my colors inside of a case simply because they're just that much easier to access, which is, which is good. Um, so they're not in the tin anymore, but they are, they're definitely uh, easy to access. Now I typically, when I color with my water, or not color, yeah, color with my, <laughs> color with these colored pencils, I would just color and, you know, I don't worry so much about blending out too much as far as like, I mean, I'll I just add the colors and I'll try and blend them as best I can just using the pencils. This one I made, this card I made uh, using the, all to new build a flower gardenia and I went ahead and used this one because um, if you've looked at the Inconic review, Inconic pen review, I made one similar to this. I can kind of show it to you now but um, it's a little bit different and you can kind of see comparatively. Anyway, but what I did with these colors is I put the color down. I used a light yellow or a, like a mid-tone yellow and then I used kind of an orange in there and then I grabbed Gamsol, which is a blending, uh, it's an odorless mineral spirit and it is used for blending. And so I also used a blending stump and I blended this out using the Gamsol and I am in love with the look. Like, I just need to be doing more with colored pencils. I love it. Um, yeah. And as far as making the background, I don't know if that's something that y'all are interested in, but I did use some color bursts for the background, which was so easy to do. I just, you know, put a little bit of color, spritz, spritzed it, and then dried it, and then we have our background. And then I did use some Nouveau Drops in the color Caramel Cream. It's a metallic. And then popped these up on there using the Arteza foam tape. But yeah, that's it. So would I recommend these color pencils? Absolutely, I've said that before. I love their color pencils, I think they're great. They are an inexpensive alternative to some of the others. I mean, I am not a professional artist. Uh, I suppose if you were a professional artist, you might have something different to say, but for card makers or somebody who just likes to play and have fun in color, do it, man. These are a win. And um, I'll have those linked down below along with everything else that I used. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave that in the comment section down below and I'll have everything listed in the description box. If you liked this video, please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already done so. All that stuff helps keep this channel going. And as always, I will see you very soon in the next video. Thanks for stopping by, everybody.